Today, I will show you an alternative to the message command for Windows 10 Home. Before I start, I warn you that this method will be of unicast transmission, and in my case, I will do it in the same local network, that is to say, both the sender and target will have to be in the same network. Very important, you will have to have administrator permissions of the target computer, in other words, to meet the user and password of the administrator user. Now, let's get started with the tutorial. First, to the target computer, we go to the configuration. Go to Apps. Then click on Optional Features. Search for SSH and check if we have an SSH server. By default, all Windows 10 comes with the SSH client, but we will need the SSH server. For that, we have to click on Add a Feature, type SSH and it should appear Open SSH Server. Select it, and then install it. Once installed, we go back and double check that we have it installed. Everything has worked fine, then we can close it. Next, press Windows plus R and run services.msc. Once inside, look for the Open SSH Server service. Double click on it. I recommend in start type to set it to automatic so that when the target computer is booted, this service is started automatically and we do not have to launch it manually. We apply the changes, and most importantly, start up the service. We accept and close everything. Now, we will finally create a notepad file with the code that you'll have to copy and paste. I will leave it below in the description so that you can use it or modify it as you wish. Once we have it, we save it with a short name, easy to remember, and with the bad extension. I will put it on the desktop. Once saved, we move the bat file in the system32 folder. We are already in the final phase, but don't neglect the target computer yet, we will need to write down a couple more things. As you can see, both the sender and target have Windows 10 Home. Now, finally to the target computer, we run the terminal and enter the following commands. What it gives us the output we will have to write it down to a paper, document or whatever you have in hand. Now, we go to the computer where we will send the message. For that, we go to the command prompt and type ssh the username the at symbol, and the host name or IP of the target computer. Press Enter. When we connect for the first time, the server provides us a fingerprint. We type yes to be able to connect. After that, enter the password of the user you are going to connect to. Once connected to the computer remotely, enter the name of the bat file we created previously and press Enter. Enter the title and message you want to transmit to the target computer. And choose by number which buttons you want to be shown. In my case I choose 4. Congrats, you have sent a remote message to a Windows 10 home user. Congratulations! 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 Before finishing, if you want to end the SSH session, just type exit and that's it. Thumbs up is always appreciated, subscribe, it is optional but very useful. Bye.